Hi, my name is Jim Mann. This is the Greene County Public Library here in Xenia, Ohio. We're probably the 11th largest library system in the state, sort of a medium-sized library. And what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about computers in your library and how you can maximize the use of the old equipment and so forth that you have. So come on in, let's take a tour and see what we're doing now. Come on. These computers offer a variety of games for children from kindergarten up through about grade two. In addition, we offer computers for teenagers and young adults. These are a little bit special in that we offer some of the more entertaining games that they can play. Hopefully there's a learning experience and we offer word processing. And of course, we offer computers for the public where they have internet access, they have access to our databases, they can do word processing, they can enjoy MySpace, they can download music, and everybody enjoys it. It's one of the great services that we provide here. But there's more. And we offer a number of specialty applications, like these computers in the Green County Room, where patrons can do genealogy research, they can search specific databases, hopefully to find their relatives, hopefully not to find their relative that was the horse thief. But as you can see, once again, we're using Intel computers, and we've got a little investment going on here. So come on, there's more. We've got more stuff to show you. And we're fortunate enough to have a training lab. Originally, this was a Gates-granted training lab, and over time, we've updated the computers. But here we do training for the public, we do staff training, we have open hours for teenagers, and we get the best use of a variety of computers with a variety of programs. As you can see, like a lot of libraries, we have a significant investment in Intel-based hardware. We are committed to Microsoft products, like a lot of people, and we have two problems. The first problem is that you're constantly updating. You're on a three-year update cycle that is very expensive. And you, not only do you have to update your hardware, but you have to constantly update your software. That's the first problem. The second problem, and basically why we're here today, is that you end up with, and we'll show you in a second, surplus computers. Come on in, let's take a quick look at what we've got in our junk pile. All right, the second problem you have, if you're on a cycle of starting at a point where, say, with the staff computers and then moving them down to public computers and moving them down to be public access or OPAC computers, is at the end of this cycle, what you end up with is a pile of um, junk. It's not quite at the point where you're ready to throw it away, but it's gone past the point where it has a useful life in the Microsoft world. You don't want to donate it because there's probably not a lot of home users that are going to like it, but you don't quite want to throw it away. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to turn a pile of this stuff into useful, inexpensive, literally free computers that you can use in your library or you can use with a public service group or with a school. Come on, let's walk over to the workshop and we'll show you what we're going to do.